Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday. Uh, today our work was uh, busy but uh, calm. If you can, it was a productive day, and there was a lot of stuff to be done. But it was, for some reason, it uh, everything kept moving at a calm and productive pace. It wasn't um, like that frantic Monday feeling like, oh my God, we got to do this. I mean, uh, okay, here's what we got to do. You know, back to work, back to work, shut the business. It's something. Yesterday when, uh, oh no, not yet. <laughs> Brain cramp. Um, this morning I woke up early and something in my head said, keep moving. Get out of the house early. I know I was down to almost a quarter of a tank last week before spring break. And I knew my brother-in-law used my car. So just something told me to get out early, get my rear in gear, and see if I needed gas. Well, sure enough, I did. And he's about six foot five, so the seat's all the way back here. And I'm like, oh, Chad, I got to read just a seat. I got to go get gas. I got to work right on time. And on top of everything, the uh, Loveland Town Bridge was up. I'm like, oh, man. But I got to work on time, and it was a beautiful day. I uh, even had the AC on in the car today. I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's a beautiful day out there, but for some reason, I, um, I, uh, I was tossing and turning last night. I don't know why. I had this weird, weird dream, and, um, whoa, <laughs> I got like, what? Ah, ah, before I forget, um, part of the interruption and in thought or talk or you know, um, the Bayhead Post Office is open, yes, and, uh, got to, that was one of the first things I did at work, and, um, they said, uh, uh, you know, you got, you know, there's a package, there's something to be mailed at the post office, so. I went on my way. It's what the post office is, what, two blocks at work. And it was a beautiful day. And I said, gosh, I don't know if they open. And then, and then uh, my boss said, you said they were open last week. I said, well, yeah, but uh, I went there one day over spring break. And she, he goes, well, if they open, do you mail it? If it's not open yet, you bring it back? i like, okay. He said, no. Um, but it was and is open and back on track. I'm so happy. I, I shook the postman's hand. I said, oh, welcome back. You don't know <laughs> how happy I am to see you back. And um, apparently someone gave the newspaper the wrong information that they were going to be open up on March 25th or whatever it was. He goes, no, we will open a week after that. But for, for some reason, somehow the newspaper got the wrong date. Um, I'm like, oh, because I came here, you know, all happy, ready to uh, mail a letter and shake your hand and everything, and you weren't there. Um, and then another day I came, it was open, um, and the guy, Marco, who was there, was only picking up. So, uh, yeah, they get back, they're back on track. Um, I, there's, I guess they get to paint the, uh, walls, it looks like, because there's, uh, the shelves on the, <coughs> the counters that they had on the side are gone. So, pardon me, I'm guessing they are uh, going to replace them, but uh, paint those panels and that little 
panels on the wall and pl uh, replace the counters. I don't know. Um, but it was good to see uh, the post office open. Um, and the postman said that uh, that Mullers is hoping, hoping for Memorial Day weekend opening, which would be fabulous. And uh, that would be fabulous. I'm sure they have work to do in there too, replacing all their stuff, you know. Uh, I mean, they have those, um, the, um, the wall freezers you see like in um, delis where they hold, uh, you know, milk and stuff. I, um, so they got to replace all of those. Um, and uh, I'm sure they have to replace everything in the back and, you know, the electric and all that. So, um, and then they have to have it inspected and approved, and you know, it's, um, yeah, so, and, um, hopefully a lot more places will be opening, um, Memorial Day weekend. Um, and, uh, things are getting busy. I could see there's a lot of, um, construction and contractor, uh, trucks lining the streets of, uh, Westlake Avenue. And, um, because people want to get into their homes and businesses. They want to get back on track. Um... But, like I said, it's a matter of inspections and, you know, approvals and all this other stuff, you know, COs and whatever else you have to deal with, with inspectors and contractors and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, and, um... Ah, yes, and, uh, Robert C., a review. <laughs> oh, you were looking for that, weren't you? you? You're sitting there going, okay, Trisha, how would you like the CD? I liked it. It's a little different than what I'm used to hearing. Um, in the beginning, I, uh, there's only two uh, people I knew on that CD, which were, uh, the first two songs. Eminem and, um, 50 Cent. It was, a uh, very urban. It's like very 90s, 2000, R&B, urban-y, uh, love Eminem and, uh, wow. Eminem in that one song, he's, uh, dissing everyone from his ex-wife to, uh, what's his name, uh, Moby. <laughs> I'm like, what Mo do, Moby do to you, <laughs> you know? But Eminem, um, is an angry man. I don't know. You know, I guess, like, his past. Yeah, I think that's why I had the, uh, drug and alcohol issues, and hopefully his, um, uh, his, uh, he's, uh, calmed down. You know, it's like, I can understand in your late teens and your early 20s, you're angry and upset. And by your 30s, you tend to, you know, mature a little bit more, chill out. But his early stuff was very angry. You know, he's dissing like everyone from Moby to his ex-wife to, and he's uh, dropping the B word, which is like, you wouldn't really treat a woman like that, really throw her up against the wall or whatever the heck. He, like, wow, it's angry. You listen to that song, it's angry. Um, I hope he's calmed down and uh, gotten over his gangster uh, rapper ways and maybe toned it down a bit. I mean, he's got, he's a good 
just on a vega, you know. It's not good that, you know, have all that anger for, you know, especially if you got a little girl who, you know, I'm sure years ago, year, when she gets in the teens, she's going to go, Dad, really? Did you really treat your girlfriends and was it like that? Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, it was, um, you know, um, it was, uh, how shall I, uh, modern R&B, dancey, uh, it was, it was okay. It was good. Um, it was good. <laughs> Like I said, it's not my normal listening genre, but I'm sure some of this stuff is in, um, oh, uh, I said you is out of your comfort zone too, so. It was good. I like it. You know, I'm a, it was fun. I was going to do a review today. I was going to put on this light hooded jacket and, you know, get into this, uh, alter ego. Rachel and go, I'm Rachel, I'm Trisha's coming, I just got out of jail, but <laughs> like, no, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, yeah, it was good, and I hope to, uh, that you continue, uh, making mixes, and, um, you might have something on the way, watch your mailbox, Robert Z, watch your mailbox, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, um, and hello to all my new subscribers, thank you very much, and wow, I, I came on and I said, how many, what, and then my email said, this one subscribed, this one, I look, wow, so thank you everybody, you guys are, it touches me, it really does, it touches me, and um, what else? Beautiful day today. I'm going to take a uh, quick nap and then um, take a little bike ride. Um, well, I'm still around. <laughs> oh, I was so thirsty today at work. I don't know how many times I went to the water fountain. I was so thirsty today. I'm like, what is going on with that? But, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe how thirsty it was. Is it allergy co season coming up? It must be. All right. Well, oh, and I got, uh, I got, what did I get? Oh, um, a CD from, uh, Ryan Mixtape over at, uh, IMP, International Mixtape Project. So I look, I'm going to listen to that later. Um, And, uh, oh, tonight I'm going to start emailing, um, emailing my, uh, my participants in my mix, it, CD Mix Exchange, uh, club, and, um, if you want to, uh, get involved, I'll put my, uh, uh, email address uh, in the description and uh, if you make CD mixes and want to uh, you know uh, join up uh, each month I uh, send each member someone to make a mix CD for and you make a CD and mail it to them and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I've uh, been doing it for oh seven, oh eight, oh nine. I'd say about five, six years, maybe five. I think this might be going on five, six times. Might be going on five, maybe four. Um, I'm gonna say four, maybe a little more. Um, could be five. I don't know. Um, not thinking is for, uh, and, uh, I've met some pretty cool people through it. People come and go, you know, some 
have to drop out for a while because of work or family situations. And then, you know, when things settle down in your life, they, something happens where the uh, interest response and they say, hey, is it okay? I'd like to come back. And it's like, sure. You know, and uh, I welcome new members. And I also, I didn't get around to it this winter because of the, um, this winter, I don't know. Um, anyway, every other month, um, I do a, um, a newsletter, but, uh, this winter the motivation wasn't there because of the weather and just, but I'm getting re-motivated -motiv now that they, uh, I don't know why, this winter I kept trying to get motivated for stuff like that, and I just couldn't just the weather, the uh, mood of Sammy, I don't know what threw me off track, you know. You know, I just, I think it was just seeing all the devastation around me and, uh, you know, on TV and everything and around me and seeing the people, like, having to practically start over again with their houses. I just, not lost interest, but the motivation, like, tanked because I saw all this devastation and, like, how can I go forward with a mix exchange and, and the newsletter with all this stuff going on? You know, it's just not that I lost interest, it just, I don't know, just sucked the, uh, happiness out of me, I guess, and, uh, and, uh, I just, I, it, it's hard to explain, you know, it just didn't suck the life out of me, but it was just, how can I move forward when all this sad, all these people are ripping out their basements and garages and I don't know, I just, my motivation tanked, and it's hard to explain why. I guess that was part of it, you know? And, um, it was, it's hard to get back on track, I'm like, but now that spring's here, I'm determined, I'm saying, we got to do this, we got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. So anyway, um, if you want to join my mix exchange club, uh, every month I like I get your name and your your address. I put it in um, this book, and I write uh, next to your name M G, which stands for mix group, and I send you um, the name of address of someone to make a mix for. You make them a mix CD, mail it all, all, uh, off to them, and they in turn will hopefully mail you one back. And, you know, you may find you have the same taste in music in common, or they may turn you on to something new, or you may turn them on to something new, and uh, it's pretty cool. And I love uh, friends... Uh, not a lot, but there have been some friendships made that way, and some people uh, even, uh, you know, keep in touch when they, uh, like, uh, after the E, they say, oh, yeah, I like that song, oh, I got another mix, and you know what I'm saying, and uh, friendships blossom that way, and then, um, like I said, I have a, um, newsletter that I put out every other month, and, um, uh, oh, I scratched something on my arm. Anyway, that I, uh, you know, it talks about mixtapes and music and, uh, you know, mix CDs and music and, uh, each month, I, each, uh, time my, uh, you know, each time I put out a, uh, 
newsletter, I have a featured person of the month or that issue who you and uh, about how they got into um, making mixes. Uh, what's the uh, title of that article? Oh, uh, Story of a Mixtape, yes. So, uh, Story of a Mixtape, uh, you can email me and say, here's how I got started, who, here's who got me started, who, this is what, uh, motor, you know, what, what, uh, uh, this is, you know, what motivates me or inspires me. Like, I'll be walking down the hall, uh, 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 road and hear a song, and that would be great on a mix CD, you know. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, I'll put my email uh, address in the description, and if you're interested, sign up. All right? Okay. Uh Peace, love, and keep the good tune spinning. Have a great week, everyone. It's uh, according to the weatherman. It's supposed to be awesome. I'm in a t-shirt. This is awesome. Goodbye, sweatshirt. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I think tomorrow or Wednesday is supposed to be cold and rainy again. Hey, April showers bring May flowers, right? Ooh, oh my gosh, 21 minutes happened here. Tell me to shut up. Shut up, Trish, shut up. <laughs>